Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia, and today we're starting a new game on the channel called Throne Fall. This is a very small game. It's made by two developers, and they only have four stages, and the first one's Tutorial, which I already beat. It's a very fun tower defense game, and there is a bit of micro strategy involved, and if we select the second level here, which you can see we have not played it, Nordfels, you can pick a variety of different setup for these stages. You can pick a weapon for your main character, you can pick perks, as well as mutilators to increase your high score by giving yourself debuffs for these stages. For the purpose of this first showcase, we'll be doing this without any mutilators, but if we want to go for higher scores, we will try to add a few in. Uh, I prefer using a longbow here, ranged weapon. You can also use a light spear, and there's one more that needs to be unlocked by getting scores or points after each of these stages. There's also perks we can pick, so we can make our castle center produce gold, and it will increase each time we upgrade it. There's also a higher tier of towers we can use, as this is a tower defense game, and there is a variety of other perks we can unlock as we play the game by achieving different scores. So we're just going to go with the Royal Mint, we're going to go with the Better Economy, we're going to go with the Bow, there we go, selected. And the premise of the game is super simple. There are day-night cycles, and we are given a coffer of gold, and we essentially have to defend our land. You can see who's coming each night, and during the day, we spend our time building, starting with our city center, or the castle. The icons on top is how many gold is required for the building, and now we need seven more for the upgrade. We have five left, so let's go to these little stubs. These are basically build sites. The game does not offer a lot of freedom. Uh, you have preset build sites and what you can build at each location, and they all have their different purposes. A farm, and towers, and houses produce you gold. So let's build ourselves a farm first. I'm going to build it farther away from where the enemy is coming from. I guess the river would be a safe area, so this probably is the safest farm. And we can choose sort of these upgrades, this customize your gaming experience, we can increase the gold produced here, or we can make it an explosive trap and essentially kill enemies. Let's go for economy, and we need some fields, which cost one gold each, and we can upgrade this in the future. So maybe this farm here, which is closer to where the enemies are coming from, and this looks like a path as well, can be an explosive farm in the future. And when you're ready, just go to night. And kill the enemies. Kite them. You do have a melee weapon as well, but there's a cooldown on that. If we had used a spear, then we wouldn't have a cooldown on that one. But essentially, our current melee ability is just our active ability, which is a sword. So we got gold from our buildings, and we also got gold from killing the enemy, and we can see where the enemies are coming from next and how many, and we can spend our daytime to build accordingly. Uh, I think with eight enemies, we probably do need a tower. We can also look to build barracks in the future. I don't see any right now. Maybe I can spend the gold on upgrading the castle, and we can upgrade our character or upgrade houses automatically. Essentially, there's different levels to the building. Houses produce tax and thus give us gold. I think for this, we'll increase the damage of our character. We can see the next upgrade is going to be a whopping 20 gold. And we have barrack available to us. Once we hit level 2, we can train some units. Costs a bit too much gold right now, so let's just build a house here. And move on. Since we have spent all our gold, let's ride to the battlefield. And see, with our increased damage, still quite a few hits to kill these. You can kind of kite them around a little bit. Only the one that's getting attacked by you will be kited by you. If you lose your city center, you will lose the game. There are towers there, so we're fine. I'm gonna ride around, collect all our gold, get our gold from any surviving buildings. Now, buildings can be destroyed during the night. They will come back, assuming your city center is still alive, but you just won't get any gold from them. So we're getting attacked from two different sides. I think we're gonna need to start recruiting some troops. We can choose what type of troops, longbow archers, crossbowmen. The difference here is they have very long range, but are very fragile. 
great picks. You manage to keep them a safe distance. Crossbow has low range, higher damage. They're armored against range attacks. Bonus damage against range units. Less effective against flying units. I assume those are flyers. Hmm. Bonus damage against enemy range. They have low range, but high damage output. I'm going to just go with longbow archers and try to keep them safe. As you can see here are troops, we can get more if we upgrade. The eight means how many troops we get. We can ask our troops to come with us, give them commands, grab them into our little circle and place them somewhere. You can see we can build walls as well to keep them safe, infantry as well. Hmm, maybe we build this wall first. But I think with two flyers, let's just keep them here. We'll kite those eight and I will start by continuing to boost our economy a bit more, we can get more fields. Not a big fan of walls, but I do like troops. So let's first, let's see, we have three after that. We can get a tower, I guess. We'll spend this turn on defense. Knights are versatile, uh, good against range. Spearmen are fast and they slow down fast enemies. But very bad against range. Um, I'm gonna go with knights. Let's first grab all of them. We'll have them front line for them. Ooh, did not mean to grab all of them, but uh... all right, that seems good enough. We'll kite this group down here. I think they got flyers over there, just cannot spend any time to look at that. Seems like they killed the flyers just fine, if that was indeed flyers. We got eight archers over here, eight archers over here, eight archers over here. Okay. So, let's grab our infantry boys. And we'll plant them right where they spawn. I assume that's going to be good enough to kill off eight archers, hopefully. As you can see, the aim on our archery, as well as the enemy archery, are auto-aim. So there's not going to be any misses. I'll help this group here kill that first, and then we'll go rush over there. We have 11 gold. We're going to need to produce more economy, so let's get a couple houses up. And... I get the farm upgraded as well, add the fields in. Alright, looking pretty good. Let's go. All right, they're coming in one at a time. Should be a piece of cake. Yeah, the arrow will kite and find us. We'll use our sword. That means our four archers can hold off against the eight. If you guys want to come with me. All right, let's grab the gold over here. Things are looking pretty good. We got 15, whatever these are, we're about to find out, but we're gonna get our troops over there. I think this is maxed out. Tower here, rather not spend it on towers right now. Ooh, we can upgrade the castle. Might not be the best move, but with only one location coming out with troops, we're gonna risk it. More attack damage, or units move faster when you command them. You have a healing aurora. No, I'm just gonna make myself stronger. And we have one gold, which is worthless. All right, gather up men. We are going hunting. You guys stay here. I'll try to kite this out a little bit. I want to put the archers in the back of sorts. Yeah, that's fine. 
Seems like we get a lot more defensive buildings here, but let's see what happens. What are these things? Oh, they're just fast moving. Very suicidal almost. Oh, wow. This is going to be a messy. Body block. Protect our castle. We're good. Okay, so that's what they are. We got a big group coming in. 20 troops, 20 archers. 17 gold. I don't think we can upgrade this anymore. We get four troops for four coins. Here we're paying eight for four more. So this is the better value here. Um, We need some spearmen to slow down those fast moving units. Towers, we could spam towers. I think I want a better economy though. We get a farm up. The farms are not in great locations. There's one here. And there's one here. Oh, we can get a couple more troops. Hmm. So far we have not seen any flying units. Let's just try everything. And then the last bit of money, we can build another tower and then... We're gonna build a field. This will be safe at least for this turn. I mean, certainly explosive would have been fine, but I'm greedy for more, more money. Let's see if we can grab everyone. Come, come, come. Join your king. I'm actually gonna plot them down right here, because I think the enemy comes one at a time. And if we focus fire, maybe we can make things a lot easier for ourselves. And as they die, more will come from the barrack. So if they fight at the front, we will get the reinforcements during the night. Yeah, that's that's exactly what gonna happen. Although they do splash damage, so they're hurting all our guys. Yeah, that part is not cool. It's okay, we have a lot of health. I can see the reinforcement coming in. Need to kill the archers. We'll be just fine. Alright, what do we have the next day? Over here, there's really, really fast moving coming through this gap, I'm guessing. They are very disruptive. We have 24 gold. No more upgrade on this. I feel like we should upgrade the spear units, because we need more of them to stop the fast moving guys. 16 gold. We could upgrade all the houses. They'll give us more tax income. And maybe build two towers, or we could be really greedy about this. What's the upgrade value on this? Four, and then we get two more fields. All right, let's grab our troops again. Now there is a setting where you can keep where your troops were garrisoned in from the night before, but with the enemy shifting location every turn, it's not really going to be the best option. Can we get into the water? We cannot. Okay, I don't know if they're actually coming from that gap or not, but we're going to put them right here. And see what happens. Oh, these do fly. How do we get those coins, though? I guess they do come to us after the night is over. Okay. 
Give me the money. Thirty-three. All right, we got thirty infantry, some flyers, and the ground guys. So we want longbowmen plus spearmen over here. Let's upgrade our troops. These are our longbowmen. These are our spear. They're going to be defending this with their lives. I'm going to count on them. Uh, I will build the field, I guess. Tower. I don't think that's going to make a big impact. Get more troops. And then we'll bring these guys over here. Maybe not all the way up, because that splash damage is a thing. We have eight left in our treasury. We can upgrade both of these houses to level two. I think that's the max level. It does unlock new houses as you build them. Let's get this one up as well. All right, we'll be on this side. Okay, this way there's no splash damage. Oh, they're fine. Let's see over here. Also doing great. We're slowing down those suicide guys. I'm not needed. Frontline has all died over here. We might have to come over here, but the eight crossbowmen is just cleaning them up. Beautiful. All right, we got 42 castles maxed. Military buildings are not maxed. These must be the flyers. That also looks like flyers. I might upgrade the archers longbowmen one more time. I think the value does go down because we're only getting four here. Let's get this group here. I'll grab him. Oh, they're all flying. We'll add a tower here. We'll upgrade this tower. Wow. 15 for the final upgrade? Seems intense. Alright, we potentially could still get a farm up over there. I'm not sure how the knights can help us with the flyers. I don't think they can. I'm gonna throw them over here. I'm actually okay with the crossbowmen just sitting here. We got two left. We can upgrade one of the houses. Let's be efficient with our gold, and we'll help on this side. Seems like it's gonna need the most help. Oh, they die in one shot. Okay, we got this side then. Where's the next? Okay. They take their time. I assume we're fine. They're helping out. Yeah, they don't need me. We might have overreacted. It takes them quite a while to spawn. Oh, there is a tough guy over here, but we're swarming him with... It's a mace brute, I'm guessing. Yeah, all damage will get auto-repaired. And we get ourselves a big wave here. One mace, 30 troops, one mace, 30 troops, one mace, 30 troops. So, probably gonna need more crossbowmen. We could consider upgrading this, but I like troops. I think troops are very versatile. They're bodies. And send them out there. More knights, perhaps, as well. 
15 left. I'm gonna get this farm going. Feels like we're gonna be fine. We're gonna just ask for money. So far, nothing has been destroyed yet. Gonna be a seven total spin here. That's fine. We can get another little tower up as well. All right. Let's get our spear units. Since they do respawn here, I'm gonna just send them up to the front here. We'll get our longbowmen to assist them. Maybe place them here so they can maybe cover that side too. I have a feeling they're probably going to be rushing for this farm, now that we built it here. But hopefully we can defend this. Alright, we're just going to sit around here for a little bit. We can see both of the vulnerable farms. That front line is going to eventually die, but that's fine. Looks like we're not needed. Shoot an arrow here and there, that's about it. Yeah, if we can get this side done, we can send our spearmen over here. Alright, we're down to the last big guy. Let's help with the big guy out. Let's kill the big guy. I think I'm going to be needed over here. The knights are fine. The knights are replenishing fast, and it looks like we're going to hold pretty easily. And be very loaded. Okay, so we got the fast movers. We need more spear. Let's grab all of them. And the rest are archers, so I guess we just get all our melee guys in the front. Mm, I don't mind if we got a crossbow there, it's okay. They're all going to come from one direction. Makes this process a lot easier. And we don't actually have to invest very much on defense. I think the rest can go into... Income. Max level on these farms. Max out this house. I think we have a new house unlock here. Max that out as well. I believe... The farms are more lucrative compared to house tax income because it's two coin per level two house and this are per field. Costs much less to build the fields. I think we have all our economic buildings upgraded. So the rest of the coin the rest of the way will be all defensive buildings. Yeah, I think that is true. Let's get this upgraded then. We have nine left. Mm. Not a big fan of walls where we can build towers. A 
That's a lot of archers. Alright, nailed it. Wait, this is it? This, this, that's, that's all we have? That doesn't seem like very much. Can these be upgraded anymore? No, I think we're literally maxed out on everything except for the towers. Alright, let's upgrade this tower then, since he's facing this direction. We get an extra bonus. Armor Fortress, increased range, shoots a powerful projectile, low rate of fire, focus siege, siege engines. Okay. I guess we might be facing some siege engines in the future. And maybe walls might have a place. Alright, at least we got all the buildings laid out. I think there's a tower here that we can... Oh, another house! Upgrade the walls. Another house. Alright, we're a sucker for economy. Back wall for 12, sure. Now that's a real castle. S eight left. Yeah, we might not have much of upgrade. All right, rally the troops. You guys are all coming over here. I mean, even with siege engines, if we can get the notification of that they're coming, we can just pile our troops right there. I don't see how siege engines would cause a real problem. But maybe the outer tower countering siege weapons makes sense, since they'll be dealing with the longest range. And then maybe the more interior towers can be focused on being unbreakable and such. Alright, we got a huge army. Follow suit. Yeah, we can just pile them all here. Range and all. And we'll see how he goes. Yeah, this is a weird night because super duper easy until this happened. Okay, this is the final night and we're getting siege weapons as you can see. Some fast movers. There's no siege engine on this side, so let them just be strong. There are siege engine here. I think the walls need to be strengthened. We can do one more of these towers. That one is upgraded. These two anti-siege, that one's anti-destruction. I think that's the only thing we can upgrade now. 15 here. And that'll be all. Because I think the castle's done. Am I worried about this tower coming in handy? No, that would be a very bad sign. This tower, I think, is probably the one that would get the most use. Alright, how do we deploy our troops? Um, I'm going to deploy them to the hardest side. Because they'll keep reviving. And they'll keep going there. Crossbowmen... Right here. Spear units. There's 15 speedsters trying to squeeze through here. I'm gonna put them here. A 
Longbowmen. I think with these five, the towers can kill them. I don't even feel like I want... Oh, there's a tower there that we didn't build. Okay. I can put them here, and they can kind of double duty. I will take a look over here. And yeah, there's a tower here. Alright, it's not nicely upgraded, but it's fine. This side is not really the stressful side. And then knights... We'll pile them... Sort of here, I guess? I know there's no one here. But we might just be giving this side up. I don't want to lose this crossbow building, though. Alright. How do we do this? I don't know if splitting them a little bit's better. Couple them over here. Since the Lombowmen are all over there... Is that a Lombowman? That looks like a Spearman. Alright, I'm gonna borrow three. Slow down a couple of those guys too. Alright, I think we're good. Seek weapon's going down fast. Let's see if I can snipe it. That looks fine, actually. Oh, they're taking turns. Okay, the seek weapon's destroying our field, but that's fine. Oh, they're not coming all at once. That's not stressful at all, then. I got enough towers that I'm not worried there. Alright, we'll be totally fine. Damages here and there. got walls, and troops are smart enough to go back and protect. Only another wave? Or is that it? Also, if we die, we actually, you can see that we heal. We also can't come back, even if we get knocked out during the night. Alrighty. Couple of broken farmlands, less gold, but that's victory for this stage. And the gold basically for the last night will affect the gold bonus on your score. And we get our points to unlock new perks we can play with. So heavy armor. We can add this perk in as a different play style. Uh, we'll be slower but have more health. Not that interested in that. Flails, a new weapon for our melee units. Basically a splash attack. Castles can be even stronger. But just the center. 
perk point. Oh, we can bring two perks into each game. And that's it. So if we continue here, we can play a different map. So you can see there are different high score objectives. I believe that we can strive for each to get all the crowns. I'm not really looking for the leaderboard, but looking for these, the quest. So achieve a victory without using bow as our weapon. Achieve a victory with different mutilators. And that's the replayability, although the setup will be very similar. You can see the requirement for each of the quests. We have now two perks we can play with. And with each playthrough, we'll basically unlock new perks as we rank up. Uh, it's a very small scale game, but it is very interesting. Uh, we'll come back next time and we'll play the next map and so forth and revisit some of these uh, to get the rest of the quest completed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play and see you all next time. Bye!